Hey guys, today we are going to make veg manchurian without deep frying. Yes, you heard me right. We are going to bake and or air fry the manchurian balls. For that, we'll need some cabbage, carrot, mixed bell peppers, all finely chopped, and for binding, some all purpose flour and cornstarch. I'm also going to reserve 2 tablespoons of each of these veggies for later to use in the gravy. Now to a mixing bowl add all of the chopped veggies. Season them with some salt and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper powder. We will now add 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and 4 tablespoons of cornstarch at first. Depending on the moisture content in the veggies, we'll need to add more dry flour. We'll start with adding the cornstarch first and then the all-purpose flour and knead the mixture to resemble a dough-like consistency. At this stage, preheat your air fryer or oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. So for this dough, we have used 6 tablespoons of cornstarch and 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour in total. Grease the air fryer basket with some oil. Make small round balls of the veggie dough mixture and place them in a single layer and cook them at 400 Fahrenheit for 15 minutes in the air fryer. To bake in the oven, I'm going to make flat roundels, more the surface area. It will be better to help them achieve a crisper texture. Bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes, flipping them halfway through. While the balls are baking, let's make the gravy. For that in a bowl, add 4 tablespoons of soy sauce and 4 tablespoons of water. Now add a tablespoon of chili sauce and 2 tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Finish with half a teaspoon of rice vinegar. Heat a tablespoon of oil in a pan or a wok. Add 2 tablespoons of green onion whites, 2 tablespoons of celery, 2 tablespoons of red onions and saute them all on high heat. Now add a teaspoon of chopped garlic. A teaspoon of chopped ginger and two green chilies. Half a teaspoon of vegetable bouillon paste. You can also replace the water in the recipe with vegetable broth. And now go the reserved veggies from the veggie mixture. Finally, stir in the sauce concoction and about a fourth of a cup of water and bring it all to a boil. In a bowl, prepare a thickening slurry of a tablespoon of cornstarch in 2 tablespoons of water. Stir in the slurry and adjust the consistency of the gravy to your liking. Now 
Now see how wonderfully golden brown and crispy our baked Manchurian balls are. Add the balls to the gravy only minutes before serving so that they stay crispy. Finish with some onion greens. Since I am serving these alongside rice, I need a little more gravy. If you are serving it as an appetizer, reduce the gravy only enough to coat the balls. Garnish with some more of those onion greens and some white sesame seeds. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such healthy twists on all-time favorite recipes. Thank you.